Hi guys, welcome back to the DIY Hemi channel and we're going to touch base on an old friend here we have. It's the 1966 Plymouth Belvedere with the 5.7 Hemi swap owned by our good friend Mr. Pete Gidry. And this actually is a situation he brought to us that we had to do a little bit of homework on. The vehicle came in, it was overcharging. So what that means is the alternator was actually putting out way too much. It was overexcited and it would put out anywhere between 15 to 18 volts to the battery. So it was actually boiling over the battery and overcharging it. It pretty much left them on the side of the road, which is something we don't want to have happen. Um, so we got it in, did some quick investigations and really dug into the systems. We want to make sure it wasn't anything wiring related. And lo and behold, what had happened is there was a situation with the standalone harness that didn't have an ambient air temperature sensor. So the sensor that detects air in the open environment uh, is used to modify how much voltage is put out by the alternator. Well, how does that make sense? Well, in cold environments where you have a very, very cold temperature and the battery just needs a little bit more boost, the alternator will be excited longer to really overcompensate for the cold weather. That's just, it's a factory condition that's tuned into the ECM. So we found the tables that had the temperature variance of that sensor. So if it's cold, it was overexciting. If it's hot, it's, you know, really within range. Modified the tables to where it put out a constant voltage and were able to get it back down into where it should be. So right now it's running at a constant 13.5 volts and it's not overcharging or boiling over the battery. So that was something that we worked on and we're able to find pretty quickly. And now we're gonna go take it for a ride and see how she does under load. Awesome, so so the battery, is that still the same battery? That's, or, uh, this or was a new battery it? because uh, the original boiled over and it was pretty yeah, much the battery it. was ruined, it cooked it. Gotcha. Yeah. In, in, you, when you say you found the tables, that's on the um, the tune in the ECM? That's, that's in the ECM tune. So there's a table under the general settings tab. It's called alternator. You drop that down and they have a temperature ratio. Zero degrees equals X amount of charge output commanded. We found this by putting our scan tool on the diagnostic port. And we noticed that the computer was commanding 15 and a half volts, which is way too high. We really needed to get it rained down to 13 to 14, right? 13 and a half, 14 and a half is within proper range. So that pointed directly towards the tune. It was communicating that it needed way more than it actually did. So we got into it, found the tables, and when you don't have a ambient air sensor, it kind of defaults to zero. So it thinks you're in some cold ass weather the whole time, right? So that's what we did is we went ahead and set those tables a consistent 14 volts to get the output we want. Well, I'm sorry, actually in this case, I did 13 volts because that's the sweet spot for this particular car. Um, and we use HP tuners? HP tuners is what we use, that's correct. Got it. And she's running good now. So she's putting out a steady 13. Steady 13, so let's give it a check. I'll fire it up and we'll put the voltage meter on it. be common in hemi swaps if you have an aftermarket harness that doesn't have uh, an ambient air temperature sending unit or sensor it will default to zero it thinks that it's really cold outside when it's not if you have an overcharge issue this is what needs to be done to the tune to get it back within specification so definitely check into that and it's not on all you know we've had some many vehicles that have no modifications needed to the tune whatsoever they run steady at 14 volts output 
and it's perfect, it's fine. Uh, the orange car, specifically. Uh, it did not need a modification to the alternator tables. Yeah. So, quick question. Is, is I mean, for a, a swapped engine, I guess, is it normal to not have that sensor, that ambient air temperature sensor? Very, very normal, very normal. Where is that sensor normally located? Normally that sensor is positioned behind the grill. Okay. Right in here. If you take a walk to the, uh, the Hellcat, I'll kill the engine so we can hear better. For sure. So I'll give you a, a glance at what that sensor looks like. We have one here in the Hellcat. Because the Hellcat actually is running all factory systems, gauges, uh, we also have the factory nav unit, all that stuff, we retain the sensor. So this is something you would see behind the grill. Right here is where it would clip to, um, you know, behind the grill opening, and this is the actual sensing field right here on the tip of the sensor. So if you don't have one of these, and your standalone wiring harness, then I, I would recommend you to look into the alternator field, that table in your tune, if you're having overcharge issues. Sounds good. So would you uh, you like to go maybe look on the tables in HP tuners? Yeah. Give them a little insight of where that's at? That'd be awesome. All right, let's do that. All right. All right, guys. Here we are at the tuning station we have. It's kind of like our mega computer at the headquarters here. We're gonna show you how to adjust these alternator fields in your tune. So first thing to do is to start with the HP tuner software and we're gonna to go to the systems tab. When you open the systems tab under general, there'll be one called desired voltage within the alternator area. Here you can see the relations between the ambient air temperature in degrees Fahrenheit and what the command voltage is going to be requested of the alternator output. This one particularly is one that we really didn't have to, you know, change, but it, you can see the correlation. Zero degrees Fahrenheit if it's really cold outside, it's going to command a higher voltage than if it's 109 degrees outside. So if you have an overcharge issue because of a lack of an ambient air temperature sensor, you could simply click and this upper left hand square, you're gonna go over to the desired voltage table and you can put something in like 13 volts. Hit equals and it now populates to the nearest figure available in the tune calibration and that's it. You have just adjusted it to no matter what, it's going to command around 13 volts output. You go ahead and click save and then write it to the ECM and you're done. Sounds easy enough. It's pretty easy, man. That's how it's done. Thanks, Blake.